Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing y'all how to achieve my go-to glowy, long-lasting summer makeup. As you can see, this is like super glowy. If you've watched any of my videos recently, none of these will be a surprise. This is all the products that I've been using. I just thought I would do a video dedicated to these products, telling y'all why I like them, what they do for my skin, things like that. I just love this makeup look so much. This glowy skin is just like everything it's not heavy around this area of my face at all it doesn't look like i'm wearing makeup obviously it does because of this highlighter but even the highlighter because you can see like this whole part of my face is dewy you can't tell that it's just like a strip of highlighter all of these products look cohesive together and they work together and they look great <laughs> i really hope y'all enjoy this video let's just get started so i feel like this lighting is a lot better in this setup i don't know if y'all can tell a difference we're gonna just play around with this setup right here i just thought i'd put myself on my head so this looks like summer this is a routine that literally you've all seen in any of my recent makeup tutorials it's pretty much the same thing just without the crazy eyeshadow basically i thought i'd spend like an entire video talking about why all these products are my favorite i'm gonna start with my wet n wild photo focus dewy primer so i take about giant p amount i just put that all over my face and i put this everywhere all over my eyes and everything shines through my concealer just make sure everything is blended out if it's not then you'll be able to see it because I don't cover my whole face with concealer. I just love how this makes my skin so glowy and it shines through my concealer. It obviously isn't this intense, but you can see it. I just love the way my skin looks in this primer more than any pore filling primer. So those are about the places that I put concealer. The concealer that I just use is the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Full Coverage Conceal and Contour Concealer. I don't know why, I've just been reaching for this so much recently. I love it so much it's like the perfect coverage it still looks natural i put it anywhere i need coverage if you're new to my channel i don't use foundation just because i don't like the way it makes my skin look i don't feel like i need it it just makes my skin look worse and i kind of keep this under the contour line i'm just gonna blend out my finger first i really honestly don't know why i love this concealer i just know i keep reaching for it because i love the way it looks so i'm actually filming a day in my life today and it's gonna be called productive day in my life because today is going to be a very productive very busy day for powder i'm going to be using the aoa studio perfect setting powder in soft light and i love this powder so much i feel like loose powders look so much better on my skin i used to never use loose powder because i thought that it was just a pain i think loose powders are better for dry skin i blend out all the creases and then i press it in with my sponge this is better than my maybelline fit me powder and this is one dollar this is all affordable this wasn't planned to be like an all affordable look this is just what happened because all of my favorites are affordable you can just see that primer is still shining through i think that plays a part in this powder as well because it sets your makeup but it still lets everything shine through you still see the glow but it's not sticky to the touch or anything the main area that i set is under my eyes but i do set my whole face this just makes your skin so smooth i'm gonna go through my brows with the end of my sponge to kind of get any concealer out i don't really ever do bronzer i just let my freckles shine through if i did use a bronzer i'd be the elf cool bronzer i'm just gonna take a little bit of this and kind of emphasize them a little more just because they did get a little covered up with powder if i do this it makes the freckles shine a little more it's still warm but it doesn't make my face look orange i'm also going to add just a little bit of wet and wild rose champagne i just take a tap of that on my nose as well Ooh. literally i don't even need highlighter by this point but <laughs> what can you do for highlight recently i've been using the soph x revolution highlighting palette on an everyday basis i just mix these two i just love this because it stays looking smooth but it looks super dramatic like it just melts into the skin i feel like this technique that i use as well is what really helps it just blend into the skin when you swirl that brush in and just keep swirling it just helps it to melt right in since my whole face is glowy it doesn't really look out of place and for my brows i always use the elf man for matte palette this shade right here and it looks super gray super cool tone but that's how it shows up on my brows this is something that i always do that i never include in videos i take the end of my sponge and just kind of 
run over it and i feel like it picks up some extra product softens it i'm going to set my face i use the essence keep it perfect makeup fixing spray and this just gives your face such a beautiful glow that melts everything in i am going to take a smidge bit of elf cool bronzer and mix all those shades once again i just want something i'm also gonna go on the lower lash line with that I'm gonna curl my lashes. I'm going to apply mascara, but not that much. I really just want to enhance my natural lashes to show that I actually have lashes. I'm not trying to add anything extra. I'm gonna go on the inner corner with that second shade. So I'm gonna go in with ColourPop Ultra Satin Lip in Dreamy. I just love this color so much. This color suits me a whole lot better than November. I think it's because I'm not too big of a fan of pink, and this is more warm terracotta, so I'm not applying a full layer. I feel like that looks a lot better, like just blotted, not doing a full layer. Oh, this is so pretty. I love this look so much. So that is the finished makeup look. I love it so much. These are using all of my favorite products right now. If all my makeup collection disappeared, these would be the products that I would go pick up. And I just love it, this makeup, because it looks pretty natural, but it also makes you look like you're cute, you know? Just like bold brows, bold lip nothing on the eyes but lily face i really hope y'all enjoyed this video if you did i would love it if you subscribe down below and please give this video a big thumbs up and also tell me any videos you want me to do thank you so much for watching bye